Hello guys, Lucas here from Stoic Crypto Investing. Today we look at the topic why Warren Buffett, the famous investor, hates Bitcoin. And yeah, I will show you a video of that where he explains his opinion about Bitcoin. And the title of this video already tells, um, yeah, if he would be offered 25 bucks for all the Bitcoins, that are around, he would still not take it. And now we will have a look at the reason why he says that. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world and you offered it to me for $25, I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? That's exactly the point where Buffett invests in Coca-Cola and other companies that give a return. And Bitcoin obviously doesn't. You kind of speculate that the price will go up in the future. I also have a video about that. And yeah, when an asset does not do that for him, he's not really a fan because now he cannot calculate the return of this investment. He's basically speculating in the future where the price is going and that's yeah his point yeah why he would not buy bitcoin he will explain it with another example right here um, i have to sell it back to you one way or another i mean maybe i'll be the same people but it isn't going to do anything the apartments are going to produce rental and, and the farms are going to produce food and uh, uh if i've got all the bitcoin you know I'm back where whatever his name was, who may or may not have existed, was. You know, the senior, uh, if I've got it all, he could create a mystery about it. But everybody knows what I'm like. I mean, so if I'm trying to get rid of it, you know, people will say, well, uh, you know, why should I buy some Bitcoin from you? <laughs> I mean, why don't you call it Buffett coin? You know, make your own or something. What? Do something. But don't, uh, Yeah, now he basically explained it why he doesn't want to invest in Bitcoin just because he does not get a return as I have said if he would invest in a facility in an apartment or somewhere else you will get a return that's not the case with Bitcoin and that's the reason why he would not buy it even if he would get all the Bitcoins for $25 but there is a really interesting correlation because Warren Buffett also doesn't like to invest in gold and Bitcoin and gold are kind of similar. Bitcoin is ultimately limited to yeah, 21 million Bitcoins eventually. Gold is also limited in this amount, but you can always mine more until the earth does not have any supply anymore, but we don't know where all the gold is. So that's quite unlikely that it will ever happen. And yeah, but it's still kind of the same. And since Warren Buffett does not like to invest in Bitcoin because of the speculation that the value of Bitcoin goes up, he also doesn't like to invest in gold because it's basically the same. And here I have another video. The quality of that video is not the greatest because yeah, obviously Warren Buffett is an elderly gentleman and yeah, he's not the youngest and the video quality was not that great when this recording happened. But I will show it anyways because the content is really good and you will understand it better after you have listened to it. So he, here he will explain why he does not like to invest in gold. Do you think that gold can be considered a viable investment alternative to paper currencies? Yeah, we're not enthused about gold. At, uh... Um, people historically have felt that was the first refuge from a, a currency that was going to be um, decline in value. But, you know, so is a barrel of oil, so is an acre of land, so is a piece of, of, uh, of Coca-Cola, so is, so is C's candy. C's candy, if the dollar goes down 50 percent, we will be selling C's candy for double at the present price. We'll be, we'll be getting the same real price for C's candy. People will work the same number of minutes or hours per week in order to buy a pound or a two pound box of the candy. So we, we, we would much prefer a 
some asset that is going to be useful, whether the currency is worth what it is today or or ten percent of what it is. Yeah, here you can see it again. He wants to invest in something that gives him a return and does not just sit somewhere and does not do anything. And obviously he made <clears throat> the example with seized candy and yeah, obviously you can see that if you are the owner of this company or a partial owner, then you can increase the prices and then yeah, you can basically go around the inflation. If he still sells the same amount of boxes or numbers of boxes, that's yeah, I don't know if that would be the case, but at least he can go up with the prices and yeah, can do something against the inflation. This today, or whether people are using seashells in order to transact business, because people will go on eating and they'll go on drinking and doing various things, and and their preferences will translate in real dollars uh, into more or less the same economics for us and we would not trade the ownership of those kind of assets for for a hunk of yellow metal which <laughs> for a hunk of yellow metal <laughs> that's a pretty nice explanation of what Warren Buffett thinks of uh, <laughs> gold yeah gold does not give a return it's the same as Bitcoin you you have to speculate that the price will go up in the future has very little real utility except for people who are looking to uh, uh, flee from the dollar and, and, and in our view really haven't thought through the consequences of what fleeing would uh, where they should flee Charlie so now he has basically made his argument why he does not like gold and you can see it's basically all the same with Bitcoin he does not like gold because you speculate that the price goes up and the same is happening with Bitcoin. But you can't really compare Bitcoin and gold together because, as I have already said, gold has a limited amount. Uh, Bitcoin has a limited amount that can ever be mined and gold, we don't really know where the limit is. So if you want to get more gold because the price is up high, then they can mine more and they will get more and so the price of gold will go down that's not really possible actually it's not possible with bitcoin and the other really great benefit of bitcoin is, is that it's independent of the government i have a whole video that explains that up here somewhere if i can get it up there and that explains how bitcoin actually works and how independent it is from the government that you can actually store it um, yourself nobody can get it it's your responsibility <coughs> that you keep the Bitcoin and store private key that goes along with Bitcoin and oh, <coughs> so now now it's better again and yeah that makes you independent it's not like the government can say yeah you now have no access to your bank account or the stocks are not yours anymore it if you own Bitcoin and it's not on an online exchange and you store it in a hard wallet, then it's all yours. And that's the power of Bitcoin. And yeah, gold somewhat does that also because you can have it just at home. Yeah, but it's heavy. Um, you can't really transport it easily. And for Bitcoin, you can send it around the world really easily. And it does not take a lot of time to do that. So that's a, basically a short explanation between the difference of Bitcoin and gold. And yeah, Bitcoin will become scarce in the future. And this is definitely a reason why we should have an eye on Bitcoin. But however, I don't want to say that Warren Buffett is wrong. He has done some amazing things in the past and he will just keep doing all his great stuff in the future and yeah he just does not it's not something that he i don't think if he wants to understand it or yeah if he does understand bitcoin but if he doesn't want to invest in it why should he and that's his own opinion so he is free but it's also always interesting to see what famous people think about Bitcoin and why they 
do want to invest in Bitcoin and why they won't invest in Bitcoin. So that's basically everything I want to say today. Yeah, it's not investment advice that I give, but I just want to show you the different opinions of the people that are around, why they do invest in Bitcoin, why they don't, so that you can make up your mind if you yeah, possibly want to do that. But it's not, it's educational content. So if you like that content, leave a like and subscribe down below and we will see us in the next video. Bye guys.